we're here looking right now at, at the uh, energy being produced as the sun is shining. We have uh, approximately two systems here, or two panels, two arrays as they're referred to. We have an east array and a south array. Uh, right now they're both producing energy. They will produce energy at different levels at different times of the sun is at its peak during the day. Uh, the, the, the system itself is producing about 282 volts of electricity DC and it, it gets converted to AC here and goes through the inverters and out and is sold back to the line of FPNL. So in this particular house right now, uh, we have the new meter hooked up outside and since the house has been operational for about two months now using the air conditioning, the uh, other general electric fittings, we've used about 1,300 kilowatts of electricity, which is not a whole lot. This house normally, without the solar system, probably would have used about double that. This is where the electricity from the inside that I was showing you earlier comes through to the main service panel of the house. The main service panel of the house is where all the electricity from FP&L comes into. What's happening here is that we are feeding this electricity back into the meter, the part that the guy comes and reads at your house to give you your bill. So if we look here, we're seeing a metering of, it'll come up in a second, 1,317 kilowatts is all this house has consumed since in operation. The air conditioning has been operating here for, for at least two months now, if not more. And right now, currently, you'll see the current daily usage will come up. It should be around, it'll, I think it's 200 and 245. That's, that's the daily usage as, as we go right now. So we're producing actually and feeding back into this, which is lowering that number. That's our objective. Yeah, we're, we're continuing now from the uh, electrical service where it comes into the house. Now we'd like to have you guys take a look at the uh, exterior of the house and identify the actual integrated, fully integrated solar panels that integrate themselves with the flat roofing tile. Now in this particular house, in order for the thing to disappear as much as possible, what we decided to do and to keep the architectural beauty of the front of the house and the rest of the house was to integrate the roll tile, which you see on the lower roof, and the flat tile up on the pyramid shape up there, the triangular shape of the pyramid is one of our arrays, as we spoke about earlier. This is our southern array right here. On the other side, obviously, is the eastern array. The reason that we chose to do it this way is so that it would be fully integrated and it would kind of disappear. And we're, we're showing with the camera right now that, you know, it's, it's, not that easily to, it's not that easy to see it. So what we like about this is that we get, we get functionality of, of, of the cost savings of the energy efficiency. We get the integration, fully integrated. We get the product approval and we meet all the uplifts and wind codes for the Miami-Dade approval.